Now that we've been through some of the basic patina solutions, let's look at a few special cases. I mean, there are, there are dozens of these, but I want to show you one in particular. It's a resist process, and um, it, it's just really cool and, and, and easy to use. Uh, in this case, I'm going to take a piece of silver. This happens to be argentium, and I'm going to write on it with Sharpie. I'm just going to use a, a ruler here, but you could do freehand drawing or any number of things. Uh, I'm going to make a point saying you really want to stick with uh, black Sharpie. The ink is, uh, is more durable than the colors. What's going to happen here is that the patina is going to affect the bare silver and not affect the area that is covered with the Sharpie. So we'll just give that 30 seconds to a minute to get a nice coloration. Wipe that off. You see how easily that comes off? There it is. That's the ink that we're looking at, not the patina. And there we go. Pretty cool, huh? Let me show you another example. Same process. Again, this happened to be argentium, but this would work on fine silver or sterling, or on copper or on brass.